Plastics can get into the environment from many sources where they can break down and cause pollution. But plastic packaging is also a huge issue. They can enter the oceans and rivers and damage ecosystems. Catherine Conway is the director of Unpackaged, a company focused on a future without the need for single-use plastic packaging. They're exploring ways that people can buy products in supermarkets or takeaways in reusable packaging, which then gets washed and reused again and again. Unpackaged has worked for nearly 17 years, trying to move from single-use to reusable packaging. We are trying to tackle the problem of single-use packaging waste, mainly single-use plastic packaging waste. We work mainly with supermarkets as well as hospitality, so restaurants, events. And what we try and do is help them move from single-use systems to reuse systems. So we work with businesses to create change, but another thing that needs to change is actually government policy, so the laws and the regulations around single-use packaging. So we work with the government to help them come out with better laws to support the development of reusable packaging. Currently, the packaging system is linear. So we extract fossil fuels, oil, we turn it into plastics, we turn it into short-life products, and then it goes to waste management. That plastic is a material that that will live for hundreds if not thousands of years and it makes no sense to use this really valuable uh, resource for a short-lived item such as packaging. What we're trying to create is the circular economy. The circular economy imagines cycles so we turn packaging into reusable packaging and use it over and over again. Reusable plastic packaging is currently more expensive than single-use plastics making the transition to a circular economy more difficult. So the challenge that we face is, is that plastic packaging is extremely cheap. The reason it's so cheap is because it's actually very resource efficient, so it's, it's a great material, we just shouldn't use it for single-use items. Another reason that plastic packaging is so cheap is because the problems that it causes, whether that's pollution in the oceans, uh, pollution on land, human health impacts, isn't factored into the price that businesses are paying for it. We're trying to develop reusable systems and actually that adds more cost into it. Another problem we face is, is that we're all very used to buying products in single use, so it's very easy. We grab something off a shelf, we use it, we throw it away. To move from single use to reusable packaging, we need consumers to shop differently. So instead of just taking something off a shelf, using it and throwing it away, we may need to bring a container to fill up or we might need to take a bottle back to get a deposit back. So the challenge that we face is how we almost re-educate customers to do things differently. Reusable packaging needs to be washed and cleaned, so today we're here in a new wash station that's being developed to be able to clean this new reusable packaging. So once these containers have been washed and dried, they're sent back to the manufacturers, so for example a cornflake producer, where they get filled and sent back out to store again. What skills and qualifications are needed for a career in sustainable packaging? The skills we need in this industry revolve around design thinking and creativity so we can come up with new solutions to problems. We need people who can analyse data and understand that the solutions are the right solutions. We also need really good project managers who can get really difficult complex projects off the ground. The area we work in, which is circular economy and reusable packaging, is actually very new. So there's so many new solutions coming out every year. Actually, we don't really know what the jobs are of the future, so young people can keep a real open mind about where they might go. I studied languages, so it was a complete career shift to go into plastics and packaging. Really, young people need to learn the basics, so maths, English, science, but really then they can specialise after school into specific areas, which might be engineering or design, uh, that would really help our sector. Young people really care about the environment. There's so many opportunities in our sector for people to come in and use their skills to make the world a better place. Can you envisage a future without single-use plastics? We have to envisage a future without single-use plastics because we're simply consuming too many resources for the planet to be able to cope with. Uh, the way we're going to get there is through innovation. In terms of packaging, we need a mix of solutions. So some of the solutions will be taking the packaging off and consuming things loose. Some of it will be reusable packaging where we use uh, probably mainly plastics, uh, but in reusable uh, circles. So they get reused again and again and again. And then we will still probably have some single-use plastics, but we have to really sort out our recycling so that it's, they're managed properly at the end of life. 
And what will drive that that change? Will it, will it be government regulation? Will it be consumer pressure? Will it be the industry itself? So the change is already coming. Uh, consumers don't want this. You know, nobody wants to feel bad about the waste that they're putting in their bins just because they've bought something from a supermarket. But really what we need is supportive government regulation, which will allow industry to all change at the same time. If you're talking about system change from single use to reuse, then we need new systems, new processes, new infrastructure, and actually industry needs to move together and regulation can help that. So what will be the change that we would see as consumers? So I think there'll be two changes. I think we'll get a lot more used to carrying packaging around with us. So at the minute, people are really happy to carry around water bottles, coffee cups. So there might be a bit more of that. So you might take your packaging down to a shop to fill something up. But also you'll get used to returning things. So whilst you might get a delivery now uh, to your door, you'll get used to putting it back out. But if you remember, this is how we used to do things. We used to have a milkman. We used to put milk bottles back out. So it's really just the return that we'll have to get used to. When would you like to see that happen and when do you think it will happen? I think I'd like to see it happen yesterday, but recognising the fact that it takes industry time to be able to develop these new systems, we probably need regulation that comes in for 2027, 2030 and 2040, and that will give industry the amount of time that it needs to make the changes. Once you've got those systems working at scale, it should become cheaper for the consumer and more cost effective for the business, so everybody wins. And especially in the modern world, um, material prices are very volatile, so actually it's, it's up to business to try and control those costs a bit better and reusable packaging is one of the ways to do that. Well, thank you, Catherine. Pleasure.